Hello. So today we are doing a Sunday evening workout. Just wanted to see what would happen with this one. Okay, so we're doing a Sunday evening workout today. We're gonna do arms. So if you want to join me, feel free. We're also gonna do some abs too. So just have a yoga mat with you. Um, I'm just gonna wait for a couple minutes um, to make sure there are people that want to join to join. If you are joining today, um, just make sure that you put on a strength based training. Uh, if you have your Apple Watch and you want to keep track of your activity and see heart rate, cal calories burned today, um, weight-wise, you're going to want to, so we're going to do arms today. We're going to have a medium weight and a light weight today. So just grab two sets of dumbbells here. And like I said, just a yoga mat so we can get some abs working in. So hopefully you can hear the music okay. Hopefully your weekend has been okay or great, shall I say. Don't know if it's raining near you, but if it is, it's probably been raining all week. So um, we are going to go ahead and start. I'm gonna turn on my watch. Let's see, strength training, and then two sets of dumbbells. So we are going to warm up first. So with your arms, um, it's just as important to warm up arms, just as it's important to warm up your legs. So we're gonna start with arm swings, so swinging those arms. If you're somebody that's kind of sitting a lot, um, this is definitely something that's going to stretch that upper chest and shoulders um, because those get super tight. So just swinging those arms out side to side. We're gonna do three rounds of stretches here and then we're gonna do shoulder circles, so big circles here. Whenever you're in the back, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you close, as you come down. So squeeze shoulder blades, come down. Get in range of motion. And then from here, we're gonna go forward. So if you were going backward, go forward. If you were going forward, now go backward. Again, when you're at the back, just make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades as you circle, do the circular motion, okay? So whichever way you're going, squeeze the shoulder blades to get a nice stretch in the chest and shoulders too. Range of motion. Swing in. And then from here, we're going to cross arm, cross body stretch. So make sure you lock in that elbow really good into the other elbow, and then you're pulling that arm really nice and tight. So you're getting the full shoulder stretch here. Hand, make sure your hand is flexed here in this position. And we're just holding this one. And then we're gonna go other side, squeezing, arm really nice and straight, pulling that shoulder blade. If those shoulders are tight, you may feel some popping, which is good because that shoulder should not be that tight. <laughs> Normally our shoulders are a lot tighter now, so, um, because we're sitting down a lot more often, so. And if you have a baby you're holding, that can be a lot of stress too on your body, so. We're gonna go again to arm swings. So nice swinging movement. Open that chest and so really swing those arms out as far as you can and as, back, as far back as you can to get a really nice stretch. If you feel tightness in the bicep, it's usually because shoulders are really tightening up the bicep. So I'm trying to loosen the shoulders so that we can work on biceps and triceps. So we're just doing an arm day today, okay? So if you're just joining, we're going through some stretches here. You need two sets of dumbbells um, and we're focusing on arms. So now circles, loosen up your shoulders. So shoulders important because they attach triceps and biceps, okay? So we're working arms, we have to have that range of motion in our shoulders before we do anything. So, shoulders rolling back, and then we're gonna go forward or whichever direction you didn't go yet. Stretch stretching. And then again, we're gonna do that cross body stretch. And then here, let's go ahead and lean the way that you're stretching that arm. Get a nice stretch through the neck, the trap area. 
So idea today is that we're just burning out arms. If you haven't done arms, this is a good exercise to do. Nice toning, but also get a nice little arm pump. Then we're gonna do other side. Again, lean that head toward the side you're stretching. Should feel a nice neck stretch too. Neck gets super tight during the week, especially if you have a lot of stress. So if you something you're stressing about, it's nice to get a nice stretch. And then we're gonna go ahead, we've already shaken those, so we're gonna do neck circles. So dropping the chin down to the chest and then rotating it to the other side, looking to the opposite side. So for example, left or right side, and then drop chin down to the chest and roll to the other side. And you may notice that one side of the neck is tighter than the other. Usually that's where the trap is overactive. Okay, so for instance, my right shoulder is way tighter than my left shoulder, and that's just because I do a lot of folding with my right side, so that is okay. We usually favor one side, that's pretty normal, but just make sure you be mindful and stretch these areas. Again, we're gonna do this a couple more times to get a nice stretch, really feel the lengthening in the neck. And then, other side. And then you want to keep your shoulders down here. You don't want your shoulders scrunching up as you do this movement. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and get dumbbells. So we're going to start with lighter weights here. So, light weights. We're going to warm up biceps. So we're going to go ahead and do 15 curls with the light weight. So light and medium weights, full extension curls here. So we're going three I'm going for three we're going for 15 four go ahead and catch up if you haven't caught up there you go five keep that chest real big you want your shoulders to be back in this movement you don't want your shoulders rounding forward just so you can get the best contraction in the biceps okay so fully lengthening fully contracting core nice and tight gonna hit a nice bicep pump I like biceps they're fun it's also nice to have some biceps so inhales, exhale when you curl up, strong arms. If you're counting, please let me know if you've got to 15 because I don't know what number I'm on right now, but we'll say this is one more 15. Okay, here we're gonna go for tricep extensions. So we're just warming up. We're not doing anything super heavy right now or a lot of tension. So we're just going through movements to get our muscles ready. So bending over slightly here, soft bend in the knee, locking those elbows into your body. Thumbs are going to be at the end of the weights for more extension. Again, you want to keep your shoulders back and you're extending from here. Inhale as you come forward, exhale as you extend out. Keep your core nice and tight here. We're just going to make sure that your chest stays lifted even though you're in that bent over position. So you shouldn't be rounding at the back. So kind of like you're proud of your chest, you want to show that chest off. Extension, use that thumb to fully extend back. Again, just warming up the arms so that we can do a nice workout. You can get a nice burn going today. Good. Breathe in as you come up, exhale as you push back. No rocking here. You want those elbows attached to your waist the whole time. You don't want those elbows to disconnect. If they do, you're not getting as good of a tricep extension or contraction. Good. All right. Here we're going to do shoulders, so we're just rolling shoulders back with the weights. Again, loosening up those shoulders, getting them nice and primed so that we can actually work biceps and triceps. So we want those shoulders nice and loose. Woo, shoulder rolls back, squeeze up at the top, almost like you're doing a shrug, and then roll back through the motion. If you feel any tightness in your shoulders, traps, pretty normal. This area is normal, normally really tight. Good. Okay. Here we're going to do a hold. So here we're going to hold at 90 degrees. So again, we're just priming those muscles. We're just standing here, hanging out. So notice your biceps are getting tired. That's good, okay? The more tension that your biceps feel, or the muscles, shall I say, muscles feel, the more that they have to work. So even if you are doing a hold, you're doing quite a bit of work here. So again, in this position, just make sure your chest stays really nice and big. You're keeping your core nice and tight. You don't want to be poking your booty out, okay? Elbows are still at 90 degrees here. Shoulders are back. So again, you are proud of the body that you have right now. And palms can be up, okay? Same thing with your tricep. We're gonna go ahead and relax down that hold. 
We're gonna hold a tricep extension. So just extending those arms, just like you did in that kickback. Here, you're just holding that extension again, getting the muscles ready so that we can do a nice workout. So, we're starting off with light weights, just warming up if you're just joining in, which is okay. I'm glad that you're joining in. Um, just getting muscles warmed up right now. We haven't really started. We're doing strength training workout if you want to put it on your watch. Okay. Get a nice squeeze. Good. And then last thing we're going to go ahead and do, warm up the arms. We're going to do forearm stretches because usually forearms are super tight. So here we're going to arm. So hand is actually going to go upside down. Arm is going to be straight and you're going to pull those fingers back. If your arms are super tight, you'll feel this through the forearm and the bicep. So you want to make sure you're getting a nice stretch. Again, you don't want your shoulder up. You want to pull your shoulder down and get a nice stretch here. We're just holding this one. Good, you can, if you're super tight too, you'll feel it on the inward and your hands too. It's important that you keep your hands nice and flexible too. Those fingers can get squinched up and tight just as well as any other muscle. So we're just making sure flexibility is there. And then we're gonna do other side. Woo, got my fingers stretched out for sure. Shoulder down again, pulling those fingers back. Forearm and bicep stretch. Good. Really wanna be sure your shoulders are down and retracted, okay? A lot of times when movement, so this is something important you wanna keep in mind for the rest of the workout today, is that sometimes that the shoulders, um, the shoulders will unlock themselves. You don't want that. You wanna have your shoulders rolled back and squeezed down the whole time so that you can actually isolate the bicep and tricep, okay? And we're gonna rest here, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So if you want to try um, your medium weight, you can go ahead and get your medium weight. I'm gonna grab mine really quick. So medium weight, mine is only five pounds different, so it's still gonna be working. We're gonna do regular bicep curls here. So palms out, facing out. We're gonna work for 30 seconds here. So we're doing this for time, as many as you can in 30 seconds. So we're going in three, two, one, and we can go curling. Keep those shoulders nice and back. Chest really lifted. Just as many as you can with control. No swinging here. We're slowing things down. If you've been in some of the workouts before, they are kind of fast. But this one, we're just focusing on the arms. So getting a nice pump, keep going. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you pull up. Working those biceps just as many as you can, keep going. Here we go, core nice and tight. Three, two, one, and rest those arms, good. All right, from there. Usually triceps are a little, kind of. A little less, um, they're not as strong as the biceps, can be though. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop to those five pounds. We're working for 30 seconds again. So we're doing a 15 second rest and a 30 second work. So we're going into tricep kickbacks. You ready? Three, two, one, shoulders back and kicking back here. Really just focus on the movement here. So mind muscle connection is super important. You don't wanna just be going through the movement. It's exciting to move around, don't get me wrong. It's great to move at a fast pace, but if you want some nice tone, you've gotta work on being um, patient with the movement and also think about actually doing the movement, not just doing it just because. You gotta have a, pur have a purpose here. So purpose today is to get nice toned arms, nice definition in the arms. So really think about what you're doing, being mindful. And also just bring you into the present too. What are we doing right now? We are working out. And you can rest good. All right, 15 second rest here. And then what we're going to do, bicep curls again. If you felt like you dropped weight and it felt like it wasn't working your triceps, for example, I didn't feel like I was working my triceps very much with that lighter weight. So I'm gonna go up the next time. So we're gonna do bicep curls again. Three, two, one and curling, 30 seconds here. Good, keep those shoulders nice and pulled back. If you need to, look up so that you're not shrugging your shoulders. Shrugging of the shoulders is super common. So you want to avoid that. Good, inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you go down. Good, 
trees. Good, good, good. Inhale and exhale. Good, biceps are working. And one more, and you can rest, good. Perfect, all right. We're gonna go 15 second rest, then we're gonna do tricep kickbacks, biceps and triceps today. So we're going, get those weights ready. If you need to have your weight, go for it. Going in three, two, one, and we're kicking back. Two, good. Three, four, working for 30 seconds. Keep those elbows tight to that body. Don't let them disconnect. Good, good, keep going, keep kicking back. Really squeeze those triceps at the back as you push back. Squeeze, inhale and squeeze and relax, good. Awesome, we're gonna do one more set here. So last time we're gonna do bicep curls, just regular bicep curls. Again, not a fast day today, just trying to get a nice arm pump. Nice Sunday evening workout if you haven't worked out already. It's a great way to get, great time to get a workout in. And we're going in three, two, one, last 30 seconds of working. Shoulders back, core really nice and tight. Inhales at the bottom, exhale at the top. Good, really squeeze biceps here. Good, elbows, you wanna keep those elbows tucked too. You don't want them flailing up to the sky. Biceps are getting tired. But that's okay, you can keep going. We're gonna do three more. One, good. Two more, two. Last one, inhale, exhale, curl up. Perfect. Okay. Oh, somebody's barbecuing out here. Okay. <laughs> Last set of tricep kickbacks. We're going in three, two, one, and you're kicking back. 30 seconds of work here. Elbows nice and tight to your body. Really squeeze the tricep as you extend. Good. Good, squeeze that tricep. Shoulders back. Good, good, good. And you can rest, awesome. Perfect. All right, taking a little breather here. We're going to do punch out. So with this one, what you're going to be doing is your arms are gonna be at a nice bent position. And from here, you're gonna have some soft elbows here. You're punching out, kind of rocking the body back slightly, not fully rocking the arms back, but just the body. And you're punching out in front of you, okay? So soft bend in the arms the whole time. And you want to keep those elbows really nice and soft as you punch out. So here I'd recommend just doing the lighter weight that you have because it's going to be working a lot of the biceps. So we've already targeted the biceps. We're just going to target them more. So here we are going for 15, 15 punch outs, okay? So lightweight biceps. Ready? We're going in three, two, one. Punch out. Two. Good. Three. Four, five, six, good. Keep the core nice and tight. Nine, keep going. 10, 11, punch. 12, 13, good. 14, 15, perfect. Biceps. All right, from here we're gonna go for, we're just gonna be targeting biceps. So here we're gonna do 90 degree biceps. So from the bottom, sorry, halfway to up, okay? So halfway down, coming all the way up to the top, okay? We're gonna go for 15 here, you ready? One, good, halfway and up. So only going at 90 and then doing the top half of a bicep curl. So just the top range of motion with your biceps. Good, keep going. Biceps are working right now. 13, good, 14, one more, 15, perfect. Breather, so we're supersetting those two. We're gonna wait 30 seconds, 
And then we'll do that again. So we're doing punch outs, and then we're gonna do from 90 up to the top. So we're doing two exercises for biceps. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can definitely get heavier weight. I'm gonna stay with this, my light weight for right now, since we're super setting. So we're gonna go ahead and do those punch ups in three, two, one, and punch out. Good. Three, we're going for 15. Four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Think with your biceps. 12, 13, good. 14, 15, nice. Half ways, half 90, all the way up to the top. There we go. One, two, 15, three. Core nice and tight. Good, six, seven, eight, good, nine, 10, 11, 12, good, shoulders back, 13, you got it, 14, and 15, good job. 30 seconds, breather, we're gonna do one more set of those, so just super setting again. Last set, so hopefully you got some water with you. It's a nice way to start the week. Finish an early evening workout before you have to start the week again. You can take a nice shower and get a nice dinner in, and then you can be ready for Monday. So we're gonna do last set punch outs and halfway curls. Ready? And we're going three, two, one, punch out with the biceps. Good. 15, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Good. 13, 14, and 15. Good. Last set. Half 90, all the way to the top. 15. And we're going. One. Good. Two. Three. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. If you're still going, 10. Go for 15. Shoulders back. 13. Two more. 14 and 15. Nice. Good job. All right. Resting the biceps, we're going to work on triceps. So here, what we're going to do, you're going to get your heavier weight. We're going to use one dumbbell over the head, and we're extending from here, okay? So with this one, you really want to make sure a lot of the times the elbows want to flail out as you do this movement. Our goal is to keep the elbows close together, so you don't want those flailing elbows. So elbows ideally should be squeezing your head. So, go in for the heavier weight. Since we're doing both arms at a time. So, here, rolling those shoulders down and back, so shoulder retraction. You're gonna inhale, so you're dropping this weight down. Elbows are squeezing your head, okay? Here, inhale, exhale, you're extending up from here. Inhale, exhale, good. So here, you wanna keep the core nice and tight. We're working for 15. There you go, keep going, that's five, six. Keep that pelvis tucked under you too. You don't want your pelvis to be poking your booty out. There you go. 11, 12, 13, good. 14, one more, 15, nice, perfect. Good job. So we're supersetting with triceps. We're gonna do a tricep kickback with this one, okay? Just kidding, we already did a tricep kickback. We're gonna actually drop set this one. So with your heavier weight, you're gonna grab your lighter weight and then we'll just burn out. So we're just doing 30 seconds worth here and we're going with light weight. So inhales and exhales as you go down. Inhales, you go down, exhale as you come up. So elbows again are staying tight to your head. You don't want them flailing out to the side. So we're just trying to burn out triceps here. If you've already done your heavier weight, we're just doing the light weight to burn it out. Good. We're working for 30 seconds here. Good, and you can rest, nice. So we're just doing a drop set with this one. So we're doing 15 regular ones with the heavier weight, 
And then we're gonna do drop set, so where you're going to a lighter weight, and then just burning out those triceps. So as many as you can with the lighter weight. Again, shoulders, you want them rolled back and down as you have those arms up above you. So, next set here, we're gonna go ahead and grab that heavy weight, 15 with the big guy, okay? Elbows close, and we're going in three, two, one. Again, core nice and tight. You don't want that pelvis poking out, so booty should be under you, not out from under you. Good. Four, two, six, good. Triceps should be working here. Eight, good. There you go. Keep working, that's 11. 12, keep going. 13, 14, one more. 15, good. Good. 30 seconds here, even if you need to take a break, lightweight, drop setting. Inhales and exhales, 30 seconds. Just drop setting, burning out those triceps, good. If you need to take a breather, you can. But really try to think mind over matter here. Your body can do way more than what you think you're capable of doing. So even when you wanna give up, try to do a couple more reps. Inhale down, exhale, go up. Burning out for 30, good. Good, 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 keep going. Core nice and tight, breathe. And you can relax, good. So, one more set of those. 15 with the heavy guy. Then we're gonna do burnout 30 seconds with the light one, okay? If you need some water, get some. We're waiting 30 seconds here. And then we'll start our last set. So, just isolating the arms today. Getting a nice workout. Then we'll go into some abs and then we'll just finish off there. So, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Heavyweight overhead tricep extension. 15 of these guys. Two triceps should be getting tired here. Good. Elbows close to you. Don't flail. Eight. The lower you go, the more those triceps have to work. Good. Woo! 12, good. 13, keep going. 14, one more. 15, good. Triceps are tired, for sure. Lightweight here. If you need to kind of roll out your shoulders, you can. My shoulder's getting tight. But just be mindful. Keep that shoulder down and locked in. Burning out 30 seconds. Good. Keep going. Elbows close to you. Working those triceps. Getting a nice arm definition in the back, for sure. Good. Oh my gosh. Since this is 30 seconds, if you need to take a breather, you can. Good. Keep going. Let's do three, two, one, and rest. Good. Perfect. All right. Shaking those arms out, we're going to do 30 second rest here. So we're going to do hammer curl style, bicep curls. No, oh, hammer curls. And then from here, we're going to do, um, so we're going to do a tricep kickback. And the only difference is instead of with the tricep kickback, usually the weights are going to be in an up uh, front and back position. We're going to do a side to side position and we're extending here. Okay, so this is just working the medial head of the triceps. So there's three heads. So here, just trying to get all angles of the tricep here and all angles of the bicep. Um, so hammer curls, we're going for 15 and then neutral, so weight side to side, tricep extensions, okay? Still tricep kickback, but just arm in different position. So whatever weight you wanna use, let's go ahead and start those hammer curls. We're going for 15, again, shoulders nice and down and back as you curl up. Inhale down, curl, good. Here's three, going for 15, four, no rocking here. Five, keep that core nice and tight. Six, elbows close to you. Good, there's nine. 10, don't let those elbows come up to help you. That's 12, inhale, exhale, 13, two more. 14, and 15, good. All right, from there, we're gonna go ahead and do those kickbacks with weight side to side. Working the medial head, 15 here. Bent over again and just kick it back. Palms should be facing the ground as you do this when you extend out. So we're going for 15, that's three. Come with me, four, five. 
Good. Six, seven, eight. Keep those elbows close. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Nice. Relax. Perfect. So we're taking a 30 second breather here. Go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and stretch those arms. Arm swings. It's really good to get your stretches in during your workout so that you can stay nice and loose. You're not tightening up. Let's go ahead and stretch the neck again. If you feel like your shoulder is tightening up, you can stretch that neck, stretch the trap area on the other side. If you need that extra stretch, you can use that hand to pull down your neck. Good. So we're gonna go ahead and do hammer curls again. And we're starting in three, two, one. Now we're going hammer curl. Three, good. Four, nice tight core. Five, shoulders back. Six. Here we go. Seven, eight, nine, good. Ten, shoulders down. 11, 12, 13, good, two more, 14, last one, 15, perfect. And we're going back for those extensions. Palms are going to be facing down as you kick back here, inhale, and exhale, kick back, going four, 15, two, keep going, three, four, five, think about squeezing that, tricep. Seven, eight, nine, ten, good, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, perfect. All right, breathe, 30 seconds here. We're gonna do one more set here. Again, arms nice and loose, shoulder rolls, or, whoops, arm circles, sorry. You see that my garage thing is in the way. Squeeze those shoulder blades in the back when you do these arm circles. And then other way, squeeze shoulder blades. Arms are probably feeling heavy right now, which is good. Need to work at them. And then swings again. Stretch those arms, biceps, chest out. Good. And last set here, hammer curls and kickbacks. 15 and 15, we're going. One, good. Two, Kelly, Kelly. Inhale, exhale. Eight, going for 15. 11, good. 12, 13, inhale. 14, last one, 15, good, awesome. Kick back, last set here. Palms facing back, or the floor when you do this. Shoulders back, inhale, exhale, kick back. Two, good, three, four, going for 15. Squeeze that tricep, good. Seven, eight, nine, 10, elbows close to you. There's 12, shoulders back, 13, keep going, 14, and 15, nice, perfect, done with those, okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do push-ups, so push-ups require both bicep and tricep, it's going to be more dominating of the tricep, but you have to have your bicep there because they're antagonist, antagonistic muscles, so here, come in here on your yoga mat, we're gonna go for 10 push-ups, okay? So putting the weights away, working on body weight now, okay? 10 regular push-ups. If you need to modify them, just make sure that your booty is tucked under you. You don't wanna have your butt out doing push-ups here, okay? So we're going for regular 10 push-ups. So we've already worked the arms, the arms are already getting tired. Just trying to burn them out here. So arms so wrist elbows and shoulders in line with each other elbows are going out at a 45 degree angle you ready 10 one good two keep that core nice and tight three four five six 
six. Keep that core nice and tight. There's eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. The way. He's what? We're hungry. Okay. We're all finished. Give me like five minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll have to feed my baby in a second. But we're going to do um, bicep push ups. So you did ten, done 10 of those. So bicep push-ups, palms are just gonna be facing the other way. So you're gonna need some flexibility here. And you can actually open the arms out wider in this one. Same thing, push-up position. Just the arms are gonna be, hands are facing back. So I'm going for 10 here. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, good job. Breathe it here. We're gonna do bicep. Sorry, we're gonna do regular push-ups. Then we're gonna do bicep push-ups again. So ten, 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 ten. Two more sets here. You ready? Try to burn out the arms. Three, two, one, and push-ups. Two, ten, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight. Nine, one more. Ten, good. Bicep push-ups, if you can go ahead and start these, let's go ahead and start. Hands turn the other way. Get your air, breathe in, get oxygen and energy. Like so, you can do it. Ten of these. One, good. Two. Five, good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, good job. Whoa, I should be getting tired here. We're gonna do one more set here. So we work bicep, triceps, and we're just working them again in these last two push-ups, regular push-ups, and bicep push-ups. Who would have known you could do a bicep push-up? All right, last set here. 10 and 10. So mind over matter on this one. I should be getting tired. If you need to modify this last set, go for it. If you wanna push through it, go for it. Nobody's stopping you. You ready? Core nice and tight. Going for 10. You can do it. 10. You can go. 1. Good. 2. 3. 4. 5. Core nice and tight. 6. 7. 8. 9. 1 more. 10. Good. Bicep push ups. Last 10 here. I don't know about you, but my arms are tired. Last 10 here. Breathe in. If I fall, just know that I worked really hard, okay? And if you fall, I'm proud of you. <laughs> We're going in three, two, one. Last ten. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Holy crap. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Come on, buddy. Nine. One more. Ten. Awesome. Ah, perfect. So, let's go ahead and do, we're gonna do reverse crunches. Three sets of 10, then we'll be done, 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 okay? Laying on your back, core is nice and tight here. Make sure your back's super flat here. Extending those arms and then curling up, bringing those knees up. Inhale, so we're going for 10, let's go. One, good, two, three. If you need to modify, feet can go higher. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. So in that movement, the lower your feet are, the more core control you're going to have in that lower core. If you're just starting out and don't have much lower core strength, having your feet up higher is not putting you at a disadvantage. It's actually helping you contract the lower core more. So. Don't worry about if you have to modify it or not. I'd rather you think about using that core. So bring those knees up to your chest. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Same movement down here, except you just have more range of motion, okay? And like I said, more lower core control. So we're gonna do two more sets. You ready? We're gonna do 10. Three, two, one, and reverse crunch. Extend, crunch. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Here we go. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, 
Eight. One more. Oops, sorry. Nine, one more. <laughs> Ten. Perfect. So I've got like this mom brain on. Thinking about feeding my baby. Alright. Breathe in, breathe out. Last ten here. If you're already feeling good, let's go ahead and start the last ten so we can knock it out. Ready? And we're going. One. Go. Two. Feel that core. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Almost done. Eight. Nine. And ten. Perfect. Awesome. So, go ahead and get in up. If you're with me the whole time, that was 38 minutes, mainly strength based. Sorry, my hair's all crazy now. Um, so on my reading, we got 275 calories burned, which is great. It was a slower workout if you were joining me today. Um, normally they are faster paced to where heart rate gets super high, but I just wanted to work on toning the arms. So here we're going to interlace the fingers behind you. What you're doing is rolling shoulders down and pulling those arms, so opening that chest again. Stretching those shoulders out. So lean the neck to one side. Breathe in, breathe out. And then we're gonna do other side. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You may feel tension in the biceps, forearms. That's good, that just means you work those arms. And then here we're going to have feet hip width apart, keeping those arms interlaced. And then we're just going ahead and rotating forward, leaning forward. Letting those arms have gravity take it, take them down. Breathe in, breathe out. Soften in the knees. And then roll up slowly, release your hands. You're rolling up slow as you do this. Okay. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We are done, done, done for today. Woo! So, like I said, 286 calories or so burned. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see what happened for today. Um, Saturdays, so I tried two Saturdays, I'm gonna try two Sundays. So next Sunday evening, I'll do this again. If you want to join me at 6 p.m., go ahead and join me, but that's just for future reference so that you can get a workout in before your week starts. So arm day today, it will be posted on my feed. So if you want to share this or rewatch this, you can definitely do that and just work out with me then. And then if you do do it, go ahead, do do it. If you do do the workout, go ahead and like it. Tell me how it was. If you want to share it and repost it with somebody, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you next Sunday at six. So we'll do it next Sunday at six. Again, I'm just trying to see what day is best for everybody. So hope you guys enjoyed your weekend and I'll see you next week.